first one we have to measure current versus voltage iv this is very very important characteristic so without iv measurement we cannot uh, judge the judge the device whether it is working properly or not okay iv is the very very important characteristics so we have already measured yesterday so this is a, when you have dark without any current sorry this is current and voltage without any light this is a dark characteristic if you shine light okay this curve will shift downward okay that time there is a uh, this is photo current okay why it is shifting down means so negative along negative axis current is increasing in this direction current is in increasing downside so why because once you shine the light more number of electron folds are creating along with reverse bias voltage okay that's why these generated electron holes by photons photons are light are uh, are a reason for the increased current in a device or circuit okay that is reason that is why reason here current is increasing so photo uh, photo diode or photo detector will always work in short circuit condition okay short circuit condition means when you device shorted maximum current flows through the device okay that is what we will measure if you increase the intensity of illumination or light intensity if you increase light intensity the current will increase in the device why because if you increase if you increase the light intensity more number of electron holes will be created but the open circuit voltage will not change okay open circuit will not will not be changing okay only current is increasing that is what we want okay in the photo diode we will see the how much current is increased when you shine the light that will only we'll see when photon detects when light it detects suppose if you have a diode photo diode or detector it will detect the light when it will detect the light how much current is increased that is the main function of this diode okay that is we have discussed yesterday okay so that is iv characteristics next one is responsivity responsivity okay that is you know no responsivity suppose you are uh, you have laptops and uh, computers or mobiles whatever suppose if you open any app or any uh, bro any tab in something like that after opening so after clicking open it will take some time that means we will say response is very less response is very low so that is not useful suppose if you have a bomb detector so there is a bomb but when you scan it it is not it is detecting but it is giving result after some time that means that is no useful so responsivity always should be very high okay that is what our characteristic is okay third one is quantum efficiency this is also one of the very important thing quantum efficiency we will discuss that is what is the quantum efficiency okay these three are main characteristics for photo diode okay but iv is the common for any diode iv okay responsivity and quantum efficiency we will see responsivity we will take with the capital r okay it is responsivity is the just you can say how we will define generated current for generated current per current per instant power okay or incident power whatever incident light power okay power of the light okay so this is the definition of the responsivity okay suppose if you have if you incidented suppose uh, some amount of uh, photons then how much current is generated that is responsivity so so response should be responsivity should be always high then only our device is working properly it is very useful for the detecting any object or something else okay here generated current is you can take ip that is photo current or you can generated photo current also you can write here it's not a problem okay so incident power this let's take a p0 okay this is the uh, responsivity of a any photo diode okay next one we will go to the you can write here photo current also it's not a problem okay yes generated photo current whole pairs generated okay whole pairs generated 
volts per generated per number of photons here. Okay, number of photons. That is what here quantum efficiency is. Suppose if you have a device, you are is illuminating some photons. How many electron holes are generating? Suppose if you are illuminating ten photons, how many electrons are electron hole pairs are generating? That is what quantum efficiency uh, describes. Okay. Here also you can take this is also very very important uh, parameter because suppose you are illuminating 10 photons but there is no electron holes are generating that means these photons are not useful for generating electron holes so there is a defects there is a some problem in our device so for to rectify our problem or defects in a device you have to study these all parameters then you can identify where your device is having problem. Okay, so this is also you can write this equation number of electron hole pairs. This is IP by you can divide with Q that will give us the number of electron hole pairs. Okay, here also you know power. This is P0 by you divide with H nu. This will give the number of photons. Okay, P0 is the instant power. IP is the photo current for you are dividing with Q to photo current, then it will give the number of electrons whole phase. And here number of photons, how you will get? By dividing H nu, you will get the number of photons. Okay, okay, that is the uh, def uh, definitions of uh, quantum efficiency and responsivity. Okay, we will see relationship between quantum efficiency and responsivity. Okay, the relation, relation between responsivity and quantum efficiency you can see quantum efficiency you can call it eta that is also symbol just symbol it's not a problem uh, okay so here you can write responsivity is equal ip by p0 okay now here we can extract from this uh, quantum efficiency from this quantum efficiency we have to write ip some value ip you and take ip and substitute here okay that is IP is equal. Just I am rewriting this equation. Uh, IP is equal, to, or you can write this eta is equal to IP by Q and H nu by P0. H nu by P0. Okay. From this equation, you can simply write IP is equal to IP equal to P0 Q by neta by H nu, right? Is this correct? IP is called. Is this correct? So now here you substitute in place of IP. Okay, in place of IP you substitute. It. Okay, just a second. You substitute it in place of IP. Okay, then here R is equal IP P zero Q by Q n by H nu. Sorry, something is uh, wrong here. Just wait. P by P zero so, and Q H nu by Q. Okay, okay, no problem. So here you substitute here uh, R is equal to you substitute here. Okay, just you substitute this IP here. Okay, so P zero Q eta by H nu into one by P zero. Okay, right. This P0, P0 will cancel out. Okay. Now you can write eta is equal. To, I am writing eta. Quantum efficiency is equal to H nu by H nu by Q into R. H nu by Q. Someone is that man. Please uh, 69. 69. Please mute man. Okay, just a relation if you substitute IP value here, you will get neta is called H nu Q by Q into R. Okay, so here you can rewrite Q is nu is equal to C by lambda. H C by lambda you can write here. Okay, then eta is equal to H C by lambda into Q. Okay, here R is there still. Okay, so H C by Q is electron charge, C is the light velocity, H is the Planck constant. If you substitute that one, Eta is equal to 1 to 4 0 by lambda here, you will get R. Okay. 
if you know responsivity you can easily estimate the you can easily estimate the quantum efficiency okay or if you know quantum efficiency you can estimate the responsivity the relation between quantum efficiency and this uh, responsivity is given by this equation 1240 by lambda into r okay r it is a very very simple responsivity is just a generated photo current by incident power you are illuminating some power of light okay after that how much current is generated that will gives the that much okay quantum efficiency what will give suppose if you are illuminating number of photons 10 20 30 like that okay if you eliminate that much photons how many electron holes are generating okay using these two parameters you can estimate where is your device having some problem where is our device having some fault okay that you can rectify and you can make it a efficiently use it okay so you remember responsibility should be always higher and quantum efficiency also should be higher then only our device is working perfectly otherwise if quantum efficiency is low means what you are illuminating you are using 100 photons but you are you are not generating Suppose you are generating 100, you are using 100 photons, but you are generating only two electrons or 10 electron holes. That means 90 photons are wasting. Okay, you got it here. Point. Okay, suppose here you are using 100 photons, but you are generating 10 electron holes. That means what here? 90 photons are wasting. These are not using to create electron holes. That means our quantum efficiency is very less. So that is the not correct. Suppose if you use 100 photons, it should create 100 electron hole pairs. That means 100% photons we have utilized. That is the quantum efficiency means. And here also responsivity also. Suppose you are using some incident 10 milliwatt power you are using. So suppose in that milliwatt hour, suppose you are creating 10 milliamperes current. Okay. Or maybe if you use this much power you are not only one milliamp power so for this power you have to create as much as possible current then only our responsivity will be high okay so this we have to analyze and we have to rectify the problems and we have to see the how perfectly our device is working okay that is the two things okay so here our pn photodiode we have a problem here okay so what is the problem is here okay we will see that one okay. so suppose in uh, uh, 